Let's see. We're looking for arachnids. We need arachnids. Giant, juicy arachnids. Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. We are here at the Pacific Northwest Reptile Show, and we're going to walk around. We're going to see what animals people are selling and what they're selling for. I'm going to ask them three questions. What's their least expensive animal? What's their most expensive animal? And then a bonus question, too. One thing I should mention is that uh, it turns out that as I look at the analytics for this channel, half of you guys watching are not even subscribed. So if you want to hit that subscribe button, apparently it really does actually help out the channel. So we appreciate it. I'd like to find something from each species, like some snakes, some lizards, some invertebrates, and uh, let's see what we can see. Pretty big show. Kind of reminds me of a sack show in size, but uh, let's see what we can find. Look, crested geckos. I've got no rhyme or reason as to why we'll check out a certain vendor. So if you're vending the show and I don't come and ask you, I'm sorry, there's just, it's a big show. Lots of people, and I'd love to do everybody, but there's just not even time. What's the name of your company? Uh, Asho Gecko. Let's get a nice... Mm, yes, a nice panning shot of the sign, yes. <laughs> Astro Gecko, how long have you been in business? Uh, since 2013, so... Is it okay if I come over to that side of the table with you? And what's your name, brother? My name's Mike. So, Mike, what is the least expensive animal you have on your table today? Uh, probably going to be this guy right over here. Burnside and Rails. Uh, it's a male. I have a quad stripe. But very basic, uh, yeah, very basic uh, base color and everything. So That's a good looking gecko. Oh, it is. Just, just uh, I like the high color. You know what I mean? Like high color, high white. So that's the least expensive. What's the most expensive? Uh -uh. Probably this girl right here. It's a plan B and double bacon female. So it's non-lily white. Um, however, it has almost complete white coverage. Uh, nice red base color. Um, and a really nice noggin on her. I think that's appropriately named, too. I mean, I look at that, and I, I do think bacon. Right, yeah, yeah, for sure. Her mom was uh, double bacon, so. Did you say the price? I didn't catch the price. Uh, this one, I, this is a whole back of mine. I don't really want to get rid of it, but 10 Gs. Yeah, 10, 10 Gs would, be, would allow, allow it to be no longer a whole back. Yeah, yeah, I got another one. <laughs> All right. Okay, I got a bonus question for you. What, if there was one animal at the show, one animal on your table that you really wanted to sell, that, is there one animal that you really, I just want to sell this animal today for sure? Um... It depends on like what kind of ta or context, you know? Like, is it a rowdy animal that I don't want to have to like run after anymore? Or is it just a really cool animal that I want in somebody else's collection? Uh, if it was, I would say it's probably gonna be one over here. Really nice female, uh, looks to be carrying eggs. She's never been paired, so. Um, but half sibling to the really nice one that I like. Plan B's the father on both of these guys. And the, uh, the mom to this one or the dam is Name's Inexperience. So really nice, like, pink base color, nice uh, white coverage, really nice red tricolor. So. Cool, man. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. I just love how, I love how jumpy they can get, man. It's one of my favorite things. I'll do some educational shows sometimes with the kids, and, like, when I get a, our Crested Gecko to just jump on their shirt, they, uh, oh! <laughs> Microphone? This is a microphone. This is T Dog. That is amazing. <laughs> I thought you just had a cool toy that you walked around with. Well, it, it it's both. It's a it's a, it's a it's a microphone and it's a cool toy I walk around I think, with. I think that's pretty amazing. I right, so we're here with Nikki at Irresistible Pythons and Rattery, and so Nikki, we're going around today and we're asking people what their least expensive animal is on the table and their most expensive animal. Okay, our least expensive animal on the table is our pastel butter. She's at seventy five dollars right now. And she is one of the first babies that we ever produced. Oh, really? Yeah. So, okay, so... <laughs> We're doing it live here. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's how we do it at home, too. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so she's one of our first babies we produced last August. So, then our most expensive is probably... Oh, I'd have to look. Do I know off the top of my head? No. This guy and our Pastel Freeway. But they're still 400 so... Okay. Very achievable. Yeah, I mean, as far as the ball python world goes, 75 to 400 is not the craziest range in the world no, at all. No, it's not at all, right? Yeah. Nope. And this is just us letting go of some of the stuff that doesn't fit our projects currently and moving on to some stuff that's going to fit our projects better. But still beautiful stuff. This is the daddy right here to this snake, and that was our third clutch that we ever had last December. So. Sweet. 
and he is very beautiful. You have to check him. Yeah, that's a, that's a good looking snake, no doubt about it. Was well, there is there one animal on the table that like if if before the weekend's over is the one that you really want, are hoping to sell above all the others? Oh my goodness, I hope that we sell him because we he is just so bright and beautiful and we kept his sister to pair back later when she grows up, but we're really hoping that he goes home with somebody. Awesome. Thanks, Nikki. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you very much. It was good to see you. You too. And to meet your new friend here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, ball, ball pythons, I mean, <laughs> the most polymorphic animal in the reptile world. There's always stuff popping up. Uh, no, you're not. Okay. So you can say whatever you want. Okay. Here, you here, but now you're mic'd up. Take this. This is our fabulous, this is our fabulous cameraman today. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> you, this is. You, have you met this guy yet? The, your dinosaur? I have. I've met it before, but it never uh, ceases to amaze me how weirded out people get by you stuffing a T-Rex into their face while you're trying to interview them. What's going on? Why are you doing this, Brian? Yeah. Well, R Robin, T-Dog, T-Dog, Robin. What's up, T-Dog? Can we check that out real quick? Nile oh, a Nile crocodile? Man, that is sweet. So what, did you pick this up at the show? No, no, no. Okay, so this is your, your pet you're just kind of cruising around with? Yeah, a little bit. It's not every day you see a Nile crocodile just walking around a random show. No, no. no. Yeah, I got a buddy, he owns a zoo. He owns it, what's the zoo called? Uh, Newport Zoo, it's in Newport, Oregon, Newport Discovery Zoo. Okay, sweet. And so he just like he's just an ambassador animal out here cruising around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. pretty much. Yeah, showing around. If you've never seen a um, crocodilian's mouth tape shoved before, it's it's pretty much law that it, their mouth needs to be secured if they're out in public. It's for the safety of people, but also the safety of the animal. Because if the animal gets into a situation where it's biting a person, I mean that could be dangerous to the animal as well. Um, so it's for safety of all involved. Perfect. Thanks, well, appreciate you, man. This show's nice and packed. I've I've never um I haven't been up in the northwest for over a decade actually. I used to lived up lived up here for just a hot minute when I was playing in a band, but it's cool to come up and check out the shows up in this zone. Uh, pretty big. Hi Desert Herps. Snakes and science. I'm Brian. Brian? Yeah, are, Aaron. Aaron. Do you the owner, yes? Yeah. Um would you mind doing like a quick video for your booth? Sure. Cool. I like it. <laughs> this is T Dog. Nice T Dog. <laughs> so awesome. so we're um, going around the show today and we're asking people what the most expensive animal is and what the least expensive animal is on their table. Oh, great question. Well, le least expensive, we probably have uh, needs right now, probably going to be the least, they're $10. Most expensive, we've got a few uh, rare species of spiders that are four, fifty, five hundred dollars $500. Okay, is there one that's just the most expensive? Or? Um. Probably we have some adult female uh, goody sapphires. Those are $350 a piece right now by okay. themselves. I've got T blondies, which are a harder to get species for adults. I've got some sub adults of those. They're $550 for the pair, though. $550 for the pair? Yeah. Gotcha. But for the single animal, be the $350? 350 yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Is there is there anything on the table like that you just really? It seems like your table is pretty busy, so things might just be going. But is there anything that you're really hoping to sell today that you, you don't want to leave the show with? Uh, all of it. Black sun spider. Black sun spider. Laid eggs that are hatching this morning. Whoa. Are, they, are these also? Oh, crazy. Are those called camel spiders also? Yes. Okay. Cool. I've seen one, that, but it wasn't black like that. No. This is a harder to get species. We have the regular. We may have some regular ones left. They sell pretty quick. But uh, uh, this is the first time I ever had babies. Yeah, those things are those things are trippy, man. We we uh, were out herping in the desert one time and came across a couple of these. They they're pretty impressive with their little defense-like posturing and whatnot. It is wow, first time you ever had eggs from one, huh? That's yeah. pretty awesome. Hi, Chris. How you doing? Good. I'm Brian. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I understand this is your first show for Josh's Frogs. It is. I um, just started with Josh's Frogs about three months ago, so it's pretty nice to uh, get out and meet everybody and all the vendors. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Good to have you here. We're asking all the vendors, not all the vendors, we're asking some vendors today at the show what the most expensive and least expensive animals are on the table. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. Also, not my 
Um, Perfect. <laughs> so, I see stories over here looking to, to see which one's the most expensive. I can tell you probably the least expensive are our feeder animals. Okay, such as? Fruit flies um, and bean beetles. And this guy right here, our um, gargoyle here, he's a $299.99. That's not too bad. That's not going to break the bank. No. And well, look, depending on how big your bank is. And look, he wants to go home with you. He, he does. He is looking at me that way. He does. Look at that. He's like, you're my new dad. I've, I do have a pretty hard rule that I don't ship animals back from shows that I'm attending, but... <laughs> That's a really good rule. <laughs> it's my favorite part of filming videos at the show is pausing for the U.S. Ark announcements. <laughs> what is this? It is. Um, this is a Pac-Man frog. Okay. Oh, he's backing away from you. Oh. I think he's backing away from T-Dog here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, fruit flies. We know you're technically animals, but we, we're going with the frog as the least expensive animal on the table today. Right on. Dude, Chris, what, what awesome. But this, the, this is the type of person you want working your booth at the show, for sure. Such a, like, just good, engaging, warm personality. Like, good job, Josh's frogs. Hey. I don't know if you know me. Uh, yeah, I know you, bro. What's up, man? How you doing, bro? I'm good. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you up here. Yeah, man. Good to be seen. Yeah, you commented on my... Uh... I did. Because you, I was like, you gotta be a rock star or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of starstruck. I'm standing here with Brian Cusco, man. Oh, constricted and addicted. Um, mostly on Instagram now. I've been doing a lot of YouTube. I've been thinking about getting more involved with my YouTube channel, and I probably should, but I, I don't know. I just don't get the same response from it from I do, as I do my Instagram. Fair so, enough. and then I try to do. I just don't think I'm up to par with video content like a lot of the other YouTubers are. So I'm just more comfortable in the. Posting of my retics and and you know promoting awareness about them and and uh, the positive aspects of owning them and caring for them and keeping them. Yeah, I can dig that, man. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's where my love, my passion is, is pretty much my Instagram channel and and, and around my retics. Yeah, well, I caught one of his videos a long time ago and I left a comment. It's like, dude, did you guys, you playing a band? <laughs> Let's see. We've got arachnids. We got cool lizards and amphibians. And Josh's frogs. I mean. Oh, you know, you know the other cool thing about Chris. I mean, besides just like you know, her nice outgoing personality, like you know, I was getting that B-roll. She had these really cool nails, and it's like her and Robin should—they they, just—they really got to, you know. It's it's all about accessorizing. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm pretty happy with what we've got, and I, I feel bad the longer we go that you're holding that camera, I start to feel worse and worse about your arm. That's a good-looking snake right there, difference. man. For example, that is a... I'm rolling? Yeah, that, was, that is a fantastic-looking snake. Rolling, right? Yes, you are, yeah. When you see all the red, then you know you're... Oh, apparently I'm rolling, too. Oh, from, still from when I filmed your nails. <laughs> I, I assume... I assume you're Ed. Yeah, I am. All right, we're here with Ed at Ed's Exotics. Ed, what we're doing today at the show, um, sorry, we're here with Ed at Ed's Exotics. What we're doing here at the show today is asking people what the most expensive animal is and what the least expensive animal is on their table. So can you do that for us? Well, sure. Uh, today, looks like our most expensive animal would be a proven breeder yellow albino striped Ruth Benny King Snake. She's also a low expression super stripe. Uh, $2,000. And our cheapest price snake today, I believe, would be our Baby Nicaraguan boas, which is our special for the show. We've got one remaining left. Um, and we also have some toy snakes and lizards over here for a dollar. <laughs> hey, that's, I mean, I guess technically that's the least expensive animal on the yeah, table. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> awesome, Ed. Thanks. Yeah. What, what is this thing you're holding here? This is a Mexican uh, Mex Mex king snake, San Luis Potosi king snake. They average around 30 inches to three foot as adults and are an excellent pet snake. They hatch out really calm right out of the egg and they tend to stay that way their entire lives. I feel like my dad would love this snake. They really do make a great pet snake. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, big shout out to Spider Shop for sponsoring this trip. And hey, uh, if you like the content, you want to see more stuff like this, just let me know in the comments below that you enjoy these type of videos, and I'll make sure we, we keep making them. Maybe we'll even keep making them whether you comment or not. But leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought of the video. Guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you on the next one. Aloha. I can see the red light. That's helpful. I know it's recording. Got the little green bouncy. Little green. Little, all right.